At first, I was mad that the Quetzalcoatl was just like casually faced through the aviary, but then I was like, look at the view. I mean, oh my god, I'm glad he did. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy and welcome to the final episode of the Biosyn Recreation Reserve. I finally learned the name after 8 episodes, I guess. We are starting a little anticlimactically, we are bringing in the T-Rexes first because I needed to get rid of the hatchery because I had like no use for it. I mean like I, I had no space for it. I had nowhere to put it because it's like so jam-packed like this whole thing. I'm creating a little vista over here. As you can hear my voice is still a little raspy, still a little sexy <laughs> because I'm still kind of sick but uh, no need to worry. This happens every single time that there's a heat wave coming in my general direction i have this you know like every single time that the uh, temperature like jumps like 10 degrees i get sick for those of you who use fahrenheit i'm sorry i really don't know how much 10 degrees celsius is but just so you know a heat wave hit europe it's like 36 degrees here which is like 110 in for, for you americans i don't I'm not really sure how it goes with these Fahrenheit's, I just know that 70 is too freaking low for your ACs. I mean, come on people, I was so freaking cold the whole time that I was in the US. But anyway, I should be talking about uh, the enclosure, so I was thinking about doing something, you know, like a circular thing, but then I was like, this space is not gonna cut it. So, uh, I did this. I never did the viewing galleries like this. Like five in a row, next to each other, at an angle. So this was something new for me. I did a little roundabout over there. And I finished the path over here. And uh, of course we need to have things smoothed out. We cannot have any crooked paths or any crooked fences as you, uh, if you know me, you know that uh, I don't do that. If you don't know me, welcome to the channel. I do hope that you will like my content and that you will like my raspy voice <laughs> for uh, this episode. And uh, we are building a fort for the T-Rexes. First, I wanted to call it the T-Rex Arena, but then I was like, these T-Rexes are very nice, they don't fight, so, like, it's it shouldn't be an arena, it should be, like, something magnificent, and I already used the word Citadel for my Spinosaurus uh, enclosure in Atlantis. Uh, if you haven't seen that build, uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, it, the, the whole park tour is on my channel, and uh, again, I would love to thank Best in Slot for sharing that build after I shared it on the Nexus mods. It means the world to me to have my work shared like that so thank you again buddy i finally learned how to do circles <laughs> with these monorail pillars you basically just do it like this like as you see me do it here on the screen and i decided that i did not want to go like fully in like all the way then i <laughs> raised the terrain and then these rexes these Rexes just decided to sleep exactly where I needed to raise the terrain, but they were so cute. They were so fluffy. I love these fluffy T-Rexes. I, I just I just love them. And that actually gave me the idea that the back part of this should be lower than the front part, like the circles should be high up, and then the half circle should be behind it, and it should be lowered. And it worked really well, I think, in the end. When it comes to these fluffy T-Rexes, I wanted to use the fluffy T-Rex because I, f I really fell in love with the fluffy version of it, despite the fact that, uh, yeah, I could have used the Rexy skin and the Buck and Doe to be movie accurate, I know, and uh, when uh, uh, this a certain person commented on uh, one of my videos that I should have uh, done it. I was like, oh my god, no! And the, the, the name <laughs> the, the name of this person, whoever you are, is No or N-O or is it like a number? I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, it was a really good suggestion, buddy, but uh, I went with the fluffy T-Rexes anyway. Not all hope is lost yet when it comes to Rexy and the buck and the doe. That's all I'm gonna say about it in this video. <laughs> 
and uh, I decided to put uh, these uh, rocks over here to create this, you know, like a circular kind of thing, but then I also used a lot of rocks around it, and uh, yeah, what else can I say about it? I always have so many things to say, but uh, it's the finale. This is like, I, I've said everything, <laughs> I guess. And uh, here's the T-Rex is actually uh, socially interacting and I I had to make a close-up. The thing is not finished yet, so that's why I didn't use it in the beginning. But I love how they you know, like, just jumped from one place to another or whatever that was. And uh, I'm adding some more rocks over here. I am so very glad that I was uh, able to finish this park so quickly. It only took like... Because I did two episodes per week initially and then it was just... It was one episode each week, so it was like six weeks. And next week we will have a park tour, of course, of the whole park. And I will show you all of my favorite enclosures. Well, I will show you all the enclosures. <laughs> and uh, I used the other shrubs. I was I was mostly using the ones that weren't like flowery looking, but I was like, let's use the flowers over here for the T-Rex. They're fluffy T-Rexes and they're so cute and so adorable. So we should have these fluffy flowers over there, I guess. And I was, uh, I started to use a, some shrubs. I was checking the view from the viewing gallery if, you know, like nothing is blocking the view. And uh, I used some more trees, since we have the individually placeable trees, like, why not use them, right? That's what I always say, and uh, I really am running out of things to say, maybe it's because I'm still a little too sick, but <laughs> and that's alright, I guess. Now I'm decorating the guest section again or whatever is left to decorate of the guest section and uh, I put the fountain over here mirroring the guest section from uh, episode uh, 5 was it? I'm not really sure anymore and uh, I put the T-Rex sign over there next to the sidewalk I put in these sticks because I was like the planters would be too huge and uh, I didn't leave enough space for it there but I put in some more uh, some more trees and I put in the amber I finally <laughs> I finally remember how to say amber in English because it, in my Atlantis speed build that's how the whole thing started that I started teaching the Slovak words I was like yantar yantar what is what is yantar in English I was like freaking amber come on and this is the point where the Quetzalcoatlus escape it just like face through the aviary as the terrorists in this game do somehow they gain the ability and I was mad at first, but then I was like, look at this of you. Oh my God. These were such great pictures. I mean, like it, it just like landed on top of the viewing gallery, the viewing tower. And it was just, it looks so freaking magnificent. And then I had to trank it. And this was really funny how it just like fell down. <laughs> This was like if uh, that was like a real park of the real animal that would that that could have been fatal to him and then I just finished some of these uh, get oh, some of these the, the last guest section that we have here I put in some chairs and I will be showing you the enclosure and this whole thing in the capture mode in just a second and here we are this is the finished product the Tyrannosaurus Rex Fort and the overview the guest section that we have right above it. We have uh, two viewing galleries and a viewing tower in a formation that I have never done before. So this was new to me as well. This is the path that leads it down there. And this is the enclosure. I was about to say aviary. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not, I guess I'm not okay today still. <laughs> no, I am. I'm, I'm powering through. I'm just like, I won't let some cough and a little, you know, like something stop me. But I should say my goodbyes now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. If you like the video, please give me a like, comment, or share with your friends. And if you think that you will like my upcoming content, please do consider subscribing because I have much more coming up. We'll have a park tour 
really soon. So thank you again. Have the greatest of the day. Until the next time, bye-bye.